we discovered stem cells approximately 10, 15 years ago that they were located inside the fat. And then through that, we started developing techniques to harvest the cells and finally to concentrate them. And those techniques are probably about three years old. At the Chicago Stem Cell Treatment Center, we provide care for people suffering from diseases that may be alleviated by access to adult stem-based regenerative treatment. The doctors use autologous stem cells from the patient's own fat that are easy to harvest safely under local anesthesia and are abundant in quantities. The center utilizes a fat transfer surgical technology to isolate and implant the patient's own stem cells from a small quantity of fat harvested by liposuction on the same day. Patients who seek care at the Chicago Stem Cell Treatment Center are evaluated by a respected member of our multi-specialty expert panel of board-certified physicians representing many medical fields. The program that we've created here has been one that's always abided to certain principles, and those have always been the highest level of technical skill, the highest level of safety, and only choosing patients that we believe are truly candidates for stem cell therapy. So how can one not become so fascinated with this regenerative uh, capability when now we've discovered where the cells are, how to harvest them, how to concentrate them, and what's the next step? Is to freeze them and grow them. And once we do that, uh, tissue regeneration becomes uh, an everyday event, whether it's liver disease, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, um, just about everything. I'm not saying it will cure everything, but nothing does. But we're talking about regenerating, staying healthy, being more mobile, thinking uh, well into our hundreds uh, without any brain decay. Uh, that's the power, I think, of stem cells. We were the first in Illinois, and still the only in Illinois, that is taking fat cells, spinning those down, and harvesting stem cells from those, the patient's own fat cells. It's a very important point. A lot of other stem cells are coming from other patients, and this is not the case here. We're taking the patient's own stem cells and, and reintroducing those stem cells right back to that patient. That way we don't run into those problems of rejection, uh, the problems of, of, say, stem cells that are many days, many weeks, many months old. These are fresh stem cells that are reintroduced right into that patient. Once the stem cells are harvested, it needs to be deployed. And it can be deployed in multiple different ways. Depending on the condition, the stem cells can be deployed intrathecally, which means in the spinal canal or the spinal fluid, as well as epidural, which means outside of the spinal canal, right in the epidural space. The, the reason why I like the stem surgical uh, network is because uh, we're very organized. We stick with uh, protocols. We have uh, what's called an IRB investigational review board that makes sure that our protocols are safe. We've done this in over 4,000 um, patients and found this to be absolutely safe. I don't think we've had uh, one complication. And that's one of the reasons why I chose to get involved with stem cells because I firmly believe that in the future, moving forward, this type of therapy will become more advanced, more evolved, to the point where we'll see some incredible regenerative changes. And it's very exciting to be part of that at such an early process.